Husky made a ratcheting screwdriver with DeLorean door style bit storage. Okay, so first of all, how do we get into this bit storage? We have this little red button here, we slide up, and that allows everything to open up. And inside we can see that we have a total of 14 bits, seven on each side. Uh, these are the bits that come with it. Uh, you can see here the bits that come with it. Pretty good selection. Um, the handle itself um, is a nice hard plastic. And the handles themselves are hard plastic with a nice rubber grip on them. Actually gives pretty good grip all around. Um, yeah. I have a regular acetate screwdriver handle here. I would say that's almost twice the size um, overall. In previous um, review, I did the Klein 7-in-1 uh, socket kit. Uh, the flip socket kit, and you can see the size, it's, it's a tad bigger than that. And in another review, I have did the uh, Work Pro uh, review, and in the handle you can see it's actually a little bit smaller. Not a lot, but a little bit smaller than the Work Pro overall, and a lot less in length. And last but not least, uh, here is a size comparison with a Banana 4 scale. Please subscribe. So the bits are held in place by magnets and it holds fairly strongly. Uh, unfortunately, the magnetism doesn't really transfer very well to the bits. You can kind of see it does get it, but if we do our little test here, and falls off here. In its neutral position, it does have some wiggle jiggle, both up and down and side to side, but nothing crazy. Um, the ratchet has left and right directions, um, as well as the locking position. Um, this line right here indicates the selection that it's on. So you can see, in this case, you'll be driving a screw because the arrow is pointing that way can't really get it on, on, on the camera very well because of the uh, glare, but you can see here. I wish that that had been maybe red or a white line just to kind of indicate which direction you're going to be going in. Still drives well enough. And of course we have the removing the screw. Uh, the actual ratchet mechanism does slip a little bit. So although it does slip, I, I would say it's still good enough for home use because um, either way it has the locking position and that doesn't slip. Now unlike the Work Pro double drive, this screwdriver does feel good enough for home use. So once you get to a certain point in any project where what you're working on becomes good enough, you often won't improve what you're working on in a significant way for the amount of work you continue to put into it. So don't waste valuable resources like time, energy, money, and health. Move on to the next project. Good enough is better than perfect. Thanks for watching.